Hey guys, it's Paul from Montana. Uh, I just took the engine out of my 1984 XR500. Um, the reason for this is I want to replace the timing chain tensioner mechanism. I rebuilt the motor in this bike a few years ago and I should have put a brand new one of these things in there. You can still get them. Uh, I just didn't know. but. So is what this does is it puts tension against a, a little fiber metal fiber covered uh, foot that pushes against this timing chain and keeps it nice and tight. And there's a bearing in here that that locks on the, on the shaft so that this gets tight, but then it can't get loose again. I, I don't remember what that bearing is called, but it, it's basically a one way bearing that locks this in place once it's tightened. And is what happened to this one is that that has become worn out. It doesn't work like it should. You can hear this, you could hear this thing rattling around in the engine a little bit, you know, while it's idling. And you could also grab onto that little um, rod that goes through it and you could hold that steady and the rattling would improve. So, I mean, this thing was just sitting here kind of vibrating. So, by putting a brand new one in there, I should uh, eliminate that problem. I also put a new spring on there, brand new. OEM and a new O-ring uh, for this. I got it apart, might as well do it. But okay, so anyhow, the reason I'm doing this video is just so you can kind of see what's in here if you have to do a job on, on this bike. Um, some of the newer XRs, you can get the valve cover off them without removing the engine. It's impossible on this bike, trust me. I There's no way to do it. Um, so this is a valve cover bolt here that I put you know back in there just to keep track of it. So is this one and so is this one. You cannot get these bolts out of there. They won't come out because this frame bar is like right in the way. So the engine has to come out. Um, let's see, what else advice do I have? Uh, when you get the carburetors out of here, if you release the, the nitrogen, um, uh, whatever this is called, the nitrogen um, reservoir, and scoot that back. You can actually pull the carbs out of there and not really disassemble much of anything. They still have the, the cables on them. They're inside this bag here. Uh, the rest of it's just basic mechanic and 101, taking, removing things. Um, but anyhow, I just thought, you know, this video might be useful to someone doing this job. They can kind of see how this is laid out. Um, Obviously, camshaft. You can you can send these out and have someone check the specifications on them. That's what I did with this one, and, and it was fine. Uh, otherwise, I was going to have it resurfaced and rebuilt, which can be done. It cost you money, but hey, parts for this bike are really hard to come by, so that's what you have to do. This bike has brand new uh, camshaft bearings on it, both sides, uh, new timing chain, and now it has a new tensioner, new spring, new O-ring. Uh, I put new valve guides and uh, seals in here and I had the valves ground precision ground by someone who does that professionally. I can't do it myself. I can I installed all this stuff but I didn't do any of the seating or anything like that and the um, valve guide uh, boring that had to happen. Um, valve cover um, these tappets here like to fall down when you flip the valve cover over. See that how they come down which makes putting the valve cover back on difficult so you might have to remove the caps that are on the other side, these big caps, and maybe tie a little string on there, something that you can, re you know, cut and not get junk inside the motor after it's installed. You can kind of, you know, tie these up um, so they don't fall down. When you put it back together, after you put it back together, you're probably going to want to do uh, valve clearance again. Uh, even if you just did it, I mean, I would, I would redo your valve clearance and make sure that's cool. Um, I think the uh, decompression mechanism is kind of cool in here. Let's see if you can see this. Um, so right here, can you see that thing rotating down in there? And this is the decompression mechanism over here on the side. So when you kick the bike over, this rotates just enough to keep that valve open just long enough to give you uh, to release the compression and give you an easy kick over 
this engine's rebuilt. I'm going to tell you, it's near impossible to, to start the thing without the decompression mechanism perfectly hooked up and working the way that it's supposed to. Um, I actually stood on this Kickstarter with that disconnected. And I weigh 200 pounds and I would could almost stand on it without it, you know, kind of popping backwards. So it has a good compression. Um, I don't know what else to show you. This is a really cool gasket that has, it's like formed so it has a ridge in the center of it to help it seal. I don't know if you need to put any goop on these. I'm going to put a really, really light layer RTV on here to make sure I don't have any oil leaks. I don't know if that's necessary, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's how I had it before and I didn't have any issues with it. Um, so there you go. I just thought this was uh, might be a cool video so you can see what this looks like on the inside. Uh, there's no tricks to getting this valve cover off. You simply have to remove all the bolts and then it comes off. There's no nothing else that needs to be removed. Um, taking the engine out simple probably takes an hour or two. It's a pretty easy job. Uh, Alright, well thanks for watching.